Welcome back, folks. We're going to discuss number 11 in Unit 2-3, and I just snipped the whole thing and put it in the picture here. I love the snippet tool for this, but... Okay, so this problem, when you kind of look at it, first thing to notice is, you know, look at the picture and look in here. There are no resistances mentioned anywhere. So there are three unknowns here. These are the unknowns, R1, R2, R3. And because there's three of them, that tells you right away it's going to take three equations to solve this problem. Now, whether or not you can get an unknown with one equation, it's, that's kind of case specific. You'll just have to go through and figure that out. But I, I'm going to warn you right up front. You may end up having to solve three equations, three unknowns. But anyway, this is how you solve it. Um, oh, let me, let me talk about this here too. So it says EMF. 4 volts. So in case you haven't seen my video or we haven't chatted about this or whatnot, but in case that's the first time you've heard EMF. All right, think back from lab. In all the labs we've done, I've talked about, I'm, I'm sure you've seen open circuit voltage versus closed circuit voltage. The EMF of the battery is the open circuit voltage. Now the open circuit and closed circuit are typically, will not, um, they'll be the same if the battery has a very small internal resistance here. There just won't be much of a voltage drop. So they're saying no internal resistance. Long story short, you're going to use this as the voltage uh, for the battery and all the equations. Now we're just going to have to go through and write three equations. All right? So when the switch is open, the current is this. So with an open switch, there is one current, so you put it in your picture. And that's and it's a given value. Now write a loop equation, and the only currents you're going to get are for this loop. That equation will have three unknowns: R1, R2, R3. Not much we can do about that. So put that off that equation back burner. Move on to the next sentence. When the switch is at A, the current is this. So if we put that switch at A, now we have a current here. And that's given in the problem. And that current is good to this point right here. Now here's something to notice. We don't know the R2s, but we do know they're equal. So that should tell you something about this. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hint here. That means basically half of that current is going to go this way, I over 2, half this way, I over 2. Now, write yourself an equation using a loop like maybe this. Boom. And that's going to get you another equation that's got R1, R2, R3 in it. You could do this loop, but all it's going to give you is that the, um, the two currents are equal. That's, I don't think that's going to do you any good. All right. Take that equation, put it off to the side. That's the second equation right now. Then we use when the switch is at B, the current is this. So we're going to go over here now. In our picture, we're going to open that back up. Put our switch to B. Now, here's something to realize. Um, with the switch at B, look at this equipotential, right? Do some purple. Here's the highest potential. But see, that goes right around over in here. Look at this. There's no potential across that resistor. That resistor will have no current. That potential goes to here. There'll be no current here because this is open. So there's really only one loop here. I'll do that in green, like this. You're only going to get one current. There'll be no current here because there's no potential across that resistor. There'll be no current here because that switch is open. And that current right here, given in the problem. Write your loop equation for this loop. That's going to give you a third equation, unknowns R1 and R2. You're going to, then it's three equations, three unknowns. And I, I'm kind of staring at this. I don't think I see an easier way to do this problem. I think you're just going to have to kind of brute force it. So anyway. Um, you folks are all smart, though, so you'll get that done. I'm going to stop the video, call that enough on that one, and folks have a great day.